Hello everybody, welcome to freetradingvideos.com. This is Matador and I wanted to make a movie about Fibonacci retracements. Just a quick one here to try to strip the fluff out of it. Fibonacci was an Italian mathematician actually, if you hadn't guessed by his name. <laughs> and uh, he did something wonderful and he described through math uh, the way a lot of the life works. You know, we're all bound by the same physical principles and uh, it, you can go kind of deep into that. It's really pretty neat to do some research into that. but. What's more interesting than that is that all these charts are just masses of people. They kind of cease to act as an individual and become a giant amalgamation of a large group of people. So they kind of stop acting as individuals. Uh, mass sentiment comes into place. And they go up and down, of course, uh, due to the sentiment shifts in uh, the way that they're thinking about that chart. So Fibonacci retracements applied to uh, any kind of chart pattern it's pretty neat. So if you go down here, grab one of these, and uh, to have a couple examples here. So if you take and draw a straight line from a high to a low, drop it, uh, you will very, you will get these Fibonacci retracements: the 23.6, 38.2, 50% or the 50-yard line, 61.8, 78.1, and 100%. So if this stock, of course, did what it did, it ran up to a new swing high, then sold all the way off to a low down here. Of course, anything could have happened, uh, but we would have just drawn the line to a different low. What's more interesting is right after this low occurs, then this swing in down at the bottom. All right, we now look for the stock to rebound, to rally, to go back up and retrace some percentage of that sell-off. So, if that stock were to come all the way back up to the top where it began its sell-off, that would be a 100% retracement, and that would be very, very powerful for the stock to be able to do that. If it ran down like it did. Uh, bounced up a little bit and then sold off and stayed on its low, that would be almost a 0% retracement or a 23% retracement. If a stock, of course, comes down to where it does and goes back up halfway, that's a 50-yard line or a 50% retracement, and that's a great place to look for that stock uh, to run into some trouble. Uh, what a lot of people don't know is that people who are buying a stock here, right, let's say I buy 100 shares, uh, make it easy on me, um, up here and then buy another hundred shares down here. They call it averaging down. They're looking to uh, sort of minimize their average loss, <laughs> but uh, now they have 200 shares of it. So, uh, that can be a disaster actually. If the stock never came back, they'd be losing twice as much. But if they do that, if they average down, the stock only has to come up to the 50 yard line before they're flat, before they're making zero money. And after sitting through a pretty good sized drawdown, that's going to be the definition of overhead resistance. I'm going to want to do it. Other people I know would want to do it. Uh, just get me out of this thing so I don't have to live through this pain anymore. And that's why people will look for a stall around the 50-yard line. At least that's one of them. It's also a psychological barrier. So this stock actually bounced up to the 50-yard line, uh, chopped around, and also hit the 100 MA, which is this little uh, brown line here. And so that's a place where people aren't going to be willing to jump into the market. It's also in the face of a big, large sell-off. Volume is not too bad. So that's one example. Uh, let me get rid of that and um, show you another one. Just two seconds here. They're all over the place. All right, so here's a good example. This stock, I'll run and get one of these down here. This stock actually ran up very nicely from here to the area. Right there. Right, so this stock, uh, of course, had run up nicely, up to a new high, so we draw the uh, Fibonacci retracement lines in there. Uh, this time we start at the bottom and go all the way to the top. So if this stock were to sell all the way off and come all the way back down to where it started, that would be a 100% retracement again. And uh, that would be quite weak for the stock. It would have retraced the entire move. However, if it runs up like it did, right, and kind of chops around sideways and hardly sells off at all, that's uh, unbelievably powerful. That tells me that nobody really wants to sell that stock. After a beautiful gain in their accounts, anybody who owns it doesn't want to sell it out. Not a lot of aggressive uh, people coming in to sell it short either. People on the short side of the market are racing to buy to cover that, and they're holding the stock up. And of course, resistance, once broken, becomes support. Not the best volume I've ever seen on the breakout, but a very, very powerful move right up in here to see that. Now, let's see if we can find another one. They're all over the place. There's another one. Very nice move from point A to point B. Stock hardly sells off at all and uh, ends up running up because the market's telling you what it's doing just by looking at these retracements. So let's keep going, see what we can find. We're just kind of zipping through a chart. 
There's a nice one right there. It hardly retraced at all this time. So I'll grab this, start at the top. Again, it sort of becomes just a very uh, easy thing to do. So this one kind of bounced to the 38% retracement, basically basing on its low. Hardly rallied up anymore. All the moving averages are rolling over. Now the stock has a better chance of heading south. Uh, it even breaks through big red, the 200 MA on increasing volume. So need to see that. Uh, use those Fibonacci retracements to sort of give you a sentiment read for the chart, understanding what the relationship is between the most recent swing high compared to the previous one and the most recent swing low compared to the previous one. Of course, that's going to tell you more about the sentiment of that chart than anything else. And this retracements will do a great job of helping me decipher that um, and put real numbers, but make it a little bit more tangible, less ethereal. Sometimes that will improve my chart reading skills. So I hope this is a helpful little dissertation on Fibonacci retracements. If uh, you want to learn more, of course, a uh, great website, you could go look at uh, investopedia.com or uh, post something into freetradingvideos.com uh, forum, and uh, one of us will try to answer. And I uh, hope you guys have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you soon.